Zechariah chapter 9 The burden of the word of the Lord in the land of Hedrach and Damascus shall be the rest thereof when the eyes of man as of all the tribes of Israel shall be toward the Lord. And Hamath also shall border thereby Tyrus and Zidon though it be very wise. And Tyrus did build herself a stronghold and heaped up silver as the dust and fine gold as the mirror of the streets. Behold, the Lord will cast her out and he will smite her power in the sea and she shall be devoured with fire. Ashkelon shall see it and fear. Gaza also shall see it and be very sorrowful. And a crone for her expectation shall be ashamed. And the king shall perish from Gaza. And Ashkelon shall not be inhabited. And a bastard shall dwell in the Ashdod. And I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. And I will take away his blood out of his mouth and his abominations from between his teeth. But he that remains, even he, shall be for our God. And he shall be as a governor in Judah, and Ekron as a Jebusite. And I will encamp about my house because of the army, because of him that passes by, and because of him that returns. And no oppressor shall pass through them any more. For now have I seen with my eyes. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king comes unto you. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a colt, the foal of an ass. And I will cut off the, char the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow shall be cut off. And he shall speak peace unto the heathen, and his dominion shall be from sea even to sea, and from the river even to the ends of the earth. As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit, wherein is no water. Turn you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope, even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. When I have bent Judah for me, filled the bow with Ephraim, and raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, and made thee as the sword of a mighty man, and the Lord shall be seen over them, and his arrow shall go forth as the lightning, and the Lord God shall blow the trumpet, and shall go with whirlwinds of the south. The Lord of hosts shall defend them, and they shall devour and subdue with sling stones. And they shall drink and make a noise as through wine. And they shall be filled like bowls and as the corners of the altar. And the Lord their God shall save them in that day as the flock of his people. For they shall be as the stones of a crown lifted up as an ensign upon his land for how great is his goodness and how great is his beauty corn shall make the young men cheerful and new wine the maids chapter 10 ask you of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to every one grass in the field for the idols have spoken vanity and the diviners have seen a lie and have told false dreams. They comfort in vain. Therefore they went their way as a flock. They were troubled because there was no shepherd. Mine anger was kindled against the shepherds and I punished the goats. For the Lord of hosts has visited his flock, the house of Judah, and has made them as his goodly horse in the battle. Out of him came forth the corner, out of him the nail, out of him the battle bow, out of him every oppressor together. And they shall be as mighty men which tread down their enemies in the mirror, the streets, and the battle. And they shall fight, because the Lord is with them. And the riders on horses shall be confounded. And I will strengthen the house of Judah, 
and I will save the house of Joseph, and I will bring them again to place them, for I have mercy upon them. And they shall be as though I had not cast them off. For I am the Lord their God, and will hear them. And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their heart shall rejoice as through wine. Yea, their children shall see it and be glad. Their hearts shall rejoice in the Lord. I will hiss for them and gather them, for I have redeemed them. And they shall increase as they have increased. And I will sow them among the people. And they shall remember me in far countries. And they shall live with their children and turn again. I will bring them again also out of the land of Egypt. And gather them out of Assyria. And I will bring them into the land of Gilead and Lebanon. And place shall not be found for them. And he shall pass through the sea with affliction, and shall smite the waves in the sea, and all the deeps of the river shall dry up, and the pride of Assyria shall be brought down, and the scepter of Egypt shall depart away. And I will strengthen them in the Lord, and they shall walk up and down in his name, saith the Lord. Chapter 11 Open your doors, O Lebanon, that the fire may devour thy cedars. Howl, fir tree, for the cedar is fallen, because the mighty oak, the mighty are spoiled. Howl, O you oaks of Bashan, for the forest of the vintage is come down. There is a voice of the howling of the shepherds, for their glory is spoiled. A voice of the roaring of the young lions, for the pride of Jordan is spoiled. Thus saith the Lord my God, Feed the flock of the slaughter whose possessors slay them, and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord, but lo, I will deliver the men every one into his neighbor's hand, and into the hand of his king, and they shall smite the land, and out of their hand I will not deliver them. I will not deliver them. I'm going to read that again. And out of their hand I will not deliver them. And I will feed the flock of slaughter, even you, O poor of the flock. And I took unto me two staves, the one I called Beauty, and the other I called Bands. And I fed the flock. Three shepherds also I cut off in one month, and my soul loathed them, and their soul also abhorred me. Then said I, I will not feed you that the die is. Let it die, and that, that is to be cut off. Let it be cut off. And let the rest eat every one the flesh of another. And I took my staff, even beauty, and cut it asunder, that I might break my covenant which I had made with all the people. And it was broken in that day. And so the poor of the flock that were waited upon me knew that it was the word of the Lord. And I said unto them, If you think good, give me my price, and if not, forbear. So they weighed for my price thirty pieces of silver. And the Lord said unto me, Cast it unto the potter a goodly price, that I was priced at of them. And I took the thirty pieces of silver, and cast them to the potter in the house of the Lord. Then I cut asunder my other staff, even bands, that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. And the Lord said unto me, Take unto thee yet the instruments of a foolish shepherd. For, lo, I will raise up a shepherd in the land which shall not visit those that be cut off. Neither shall seek the young one, nor heal that that is broken, nor feed that that stands still. But he shall eat the flesh of the fat, and tear their claws in pieces. Woe to the idle shepherd that leaves the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm, and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean, dry up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Stay tuned for chapters 12 through 14.